most of it here, they have accumulated from here or here. There is a lot of corruption in this. And which is creating problem. intention of the other, right? I will behave with him in a manner okay, which is in uh, you know accordance with this these four things and these nine feelings. Right? So it is not that because I have trust on intention of the other, I start doing anything. Then my behavior, my work gets very well defined. Right? What I have to do as a husband, what I have to do as a wife, what I have to do as parents, right? what I have to do as children, right? all that will be very clear, you know, will get very clearly defined. And we will develop the competence in accordance with this. So, that is what, you know, is essentially the point. That with this trust on intention, right? I will develop the right competence for myself and for the other. In that sense, my conduct will become different. Today, right, the conduct is not definite because this basic trust and intention is not there and this working on competence is not taking place. So both of them are in trouble. Both of them have to be ensured. This has to be ensured and this has to be ensured. So, trusting on the intention of others does not mean I start, you know, becoming, you know, blind to my conduct. I'll become more responsible towards my conduct. So, I will do action with the other person, okay, as is, you know, kind of uh, desirable on the basis of this. So your action will become more predictable, more definite, right, than what it is. Your action, your wife's action, your children's action, right, will become more you know, definite, predictable than what it is.
how this question will actually uh, help others and at least help me. Uh, the question I'm uh, asking is actually, uh, the co two questions I asked before was actually trying to see the uh, convergence of my precondition and the uh, information that I'm get, getting from this workshop. And the question that I'm going to ask will be not different now. And my question is about this taking off. Uh, you were saying uh, we keep on taking off, and then uh, we're actually talking about, uh, uh, I mean, to me it sounds that uh, taking off is okay. And on the other hand, uh, you are saying that self-exploration is uh, important. So to me, it uh, seems a little bit of contradiction, maybe because of my lack of right understanding. So if we keep taking off, how can we actually have, uh, how can we actually work on uh, self-exploration and then get to the right uh, understanding? So do you think that there should be actually a need to work on uh, this taking off? <laughs> and uh, in continuation to that, uh, my question, uh, if you don't mind, is do you keep uh, taking off content? <laughs> <laughs> See, you are taking off because you think it is right to take off. It is as simple. So you may not be aware of it. So, anyway you do things or I do things which I think are important. So what we are trying to do is, we are trying to make you see that it is important to explore into one. That is the that importance we are trying to show, make you feel. When you are able to feel this importance, then this self-exploration becomes more often than this taking off. So that's the way it is. As far as I am concerned, you know, certain things which I remember of importance right, while talking to you, then I take up because I have to pay attention to those important things. But that I would do, you know, very decisively. For example, when you are asking a question, when you ask first two questions, in the first two sentences you speak, I understand what you are going to meaning by your question. But you will take 10 minutes to ask that question. So if I have understood your question, then the rest of 8 minutes I can use for other things. <laughs> <laughs> so if you ask, you know, about taking out from this discussion here, yes, I do it. But I do it with a very clear choice that, for example, you are asking a question and it is taking you 10 minutes. Right? But you have conveyed your question in, you know, first two sentences, so one minute or two minutes. So I can make use of those eight minutes. <laughs> but if I tell you that, no, no, I have understood your question and let me answer, then you will feel trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so, I allow you to speak, you know, for 10 minutes, 10 minutes or whatever it is. And in the meantime, I can do some other work. <laughs> so, that is where I take off.
and competence has to be made you know, very clearly. <coughs> when you talk about this, you know, what America is trying to do, right? I will call it as the competence. So, all desire, thought and expectation that you have accumulated is your competence. What you really want to be, you know, or what is your natural acceptance? is your intention. That's the meaning of the word intention I am using. So if you look at this natural acceptance part, this is going to be same in all of us. That is why I have written this natural acceptance here. Whether people in America or India or anywhere. When you look at the competence part, right, the desire, thought, expectation that we have accumulated through preconditioning or through sensation, then there is a lot of problem. Like America or American people, okay, and it's also very interesting, you know, this America and American people, they are the same thing or different things. You know, that also we have to understand. But anyway, you know, this American people have come to believe that they are supposed to be the masters and the rest of the world are the slaves. <coughs> Therefore, they have to keep all these slaves under control. Now, if this is their level of, you know, kind of desire, thought and expectation, then they will certainly try to manipulate the whole world in some manner. This is what we think. Okay. Now, if you see this separately, these people in America and the America, they are not the same thing, right? And ask every person in America, what is his natural acceptance? To be happy and make others happy? Or not? You see, this confusion about these individuals and this you know, the country has to be understood. That is number one. Number two, these preconditionings that we are with okay, and our natural acceptance, they also have to be understood separately. They are not the same thing. Today what we have done is, we have considered them as same thing. That difference has to be made. That is what I am saying again and again. For example, you keep listening that the India and Pakistan, right, they are at war with each other. Okay? And if we don't have enough military, then probably Pakistan will swallow India or the India will swallow Pakistan, you know, like that. Who are these people? Who are out to fight? Can we identify them? For example, if you start asking people in India that 
What do you want? You want people of Pakistan to be happy or unhappy? The natural acceptance of each one of them would be to make them happy or help them to be happy. But then you will go on thinking that no, no, Pakistan is going to create problem and they want to create problem. And if you ask Pakistan people, they will feel that this India is going to create problem. After all, what can we do? We are small you know, in number and you know, small in power. If India is likely to just you know, swallow us. <laughs> And nobody is very clear who is responsible for this. Who is this man who is trying to swallow, who is thinking and wanting to swallow the other? And then what is what, what are we doing as a result? We are investing 50% of our resource to prepare for war. And what are we trying to do for relationship? <coughs> for ensuring relationship between Indian and the Pakistani people. What are we doing? Small widgets, right? And 50% of the resource you are investing for preparing for war. If there was trust on intention, right? At least 25% of the you know resource we would have invested to ensure friendship. 50% we would have you know invested for preparing for war. We are putting 50% for war and not, no investment for ensuring relationship. And just imagine for a country like Pakistan to invest 50% of their resources preparing for war is a very heavy cost. Yeah, for us it is not all that heavy. So if we had trust and intention, we would have worked for friendship and because of the lack of competence, we would have also prepared for war. If we thought that, you know, the Pakistani have lack of competence, so we must do something to keep ourselves, you know, in safe. So you are preparing for war. But then if you had trust and intention, you would start working on relationship. We are not doing that. That change will take place in the whole attitude. Right. I mean, just imagine, for example, this, you know, um, this politician, the Prime Minister, the President, you know, all that. Then they are common people, right? They are very secure. The moment they become Prime Minister, they suddenly become very insecure. <laughs> A lot of security is required. Crores and crores of rupees of the country is invested, invested for that security. Right. Huh? We have also started. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine. Like we had one this, you know, BP uh, Singh, Vishwanath Patar Singh. Right. He was, you know, very comfortable in his village, nobody was killing him. <laughs> then he became the Prime Minister. For three years I think he was the Prime Minister. Huge security. Then he was out of his Prime Ministership. And then he survived for another twenty years. No <laughs> right? security was required. <laughs> now what are we doing? This is just doubt on the intention. Which is creating so much of problem. And I am the leader of the people, and I am so afraid of the people. <laughs> so insecure from the <laughs> All those questions have to be asked. Yes. <laughs> so I am saying that this trust on intention would be there if I understand my natural acceptance and therefore natural acceptance of the other. But when it comes to making a program either with China or with India or with Pakistan, you know, or America, 
I will evaluate my competence, I will evaluate the competence of the other, and then make the program. solution has to do with this or with this. The problem has to do with this, so the self is in problem, in a state of unhappiness. The solution has to do with this bigger block and that is the solution, where the self is in a state of happiness. 
So the only option which is there with the self is either to be in a state of happiness or unhappiness. If it is assuming, recognizing and fulfilling, it may be in a state of happiness, unhappiness. If this is what it is, the bigger block, then it will be in a state of happiness. So what is the conjunction of self, right understanding and right feeling? That is what we have written here, right? So her self will live with happiness if it has the right understanding and right feeling. If it does not have the right and right feeling, it will still continue to live with unhappiness. The self will continue to be there, right? With right understanding or without right understanding? With right feeling or without right feeling? If it is with right understanding and right feeling, it will be in a state of happiness. If it is without that, it will be in a state of unhappiness. So nothing in terms of physical things, you know, nothing in terms of material is required for the self. What is required for the self is something at the level of consciousness activity, the activity of consciousness. That is right understanding, right feeling or absence of it. Either this smaller block or this bigger block. Nothing else has to be done for the self. And you can see what we have been doing for the last three days, right? In this session, you know, we are not giving any physical input. All input is given, right? To draw your attention towards something which can lead to right understanding, right? So we are essentially trying to feed to the self. And that is what I said, this kind of workshop cannot be run for the animals. <laughs> because for them, this self, you know, and this input for the self has not become all that important. For us, it has become important. That is why we can sit through for eight hours a day, right, listening to this proposal. So that is the food of the self. The right understanding and the right feeling is the food of the self. And physical facility or physiochemical thing are the food for the body. So this is regarding the first question. Regarding the second question, you know, of course what we are proposing here is, and asking you to verify on the basis of your natural acceptance. Two things are going to happen and it has already started happening. One is, when you look into them, on the basis of your natural acceptance, it makes sense to you. Right? Then it starts happening. Then, when you look back and look at your you know, presumptions and preconditionings, right? some of them may fit with it, some of them may not fit with it. Right? That is causing a lot of discomfort. So that is going to happen, yes. But then what do we do? Do we go through this discomfort and you know, go through this self-exploration and finally sort it out? Or we undermine it? Stop this process. Two options are there. Whether to go on doing this self-exploration right, on our own life, Okay. And then sort this out with our preconditioning, presumptions, right? Beliefs. Or we stop this process. What is it? Yes. So we should go through this and it will certainly create a lot of, you know, kind of heat <coughs> inside. Because what we have considered to be correct, right, or 20 years, 30 years, 50 years, right? Or maybe some scars, you know, carrying up, birth after birth, right? All those are suddenly being questioned, right? Then it creates a lot of, you know, trouble inside. Yes, yes. And that is why I do not insist on any of these things, right? I leave it for you. Take your time. 
judge into it, explore, find out whether it is right for it, not right for you. Like even if you say it is not right for you, I don't, you know, try to convince you or argue that no, no, it is right. Because suddenly you will take time. Okay? And we must facilitate you in the process. So even if there is a reaction, I don't mind. I can see you know, there is so much of agitation.